Question number three of multiplying binomials. We see we have r minus seven in parentheses, two plus two r plus eight in parentheses. Nothing in between means it's the full method. If we had addition or subtraction, we would just combine like terms and add or subtract. Nothing in between means that we're multiplying. In order to multiply four numbers, we're gonna go straight to the middle circle the sign in the middle and the number behind it. That is our second number. We're going to go straight to the middle of the other parentheses, circle the sign in the middle and the number behind it. That is our fourth number. First, second, third, fourth. We're going to take the first number, we're going to write it twice. We're going to take the second number and write it twice. Negative seven, negative seven. I'm going to go over here and alternate back and forth the third and fourth numbers. So I see 2R, 8. 2R, 8. Then I'm going to put a multiplication symbol in between. And I'm going to multiply. Here, I see 1, 2Rs. So when we multiply, we tell how many R's we multiply together. So I'm going to put the number 2, a R with a little 2 in the air. That is the exponent. The exponent tells you how many times we multiplied R together. If there were 3 R's, it would be R to the 3rd. If there were 4 R's, it would be R to the 4th. Here we have 8 times R, which is 8, and just 1 R. We have a negative seven times two r. Remember, in order to determine our signs, when we see a negative sign, we draw the P sign, capital upside down Y, negative, negative plus. I see a negative seven, I'm gonna shade that in. Uh, nothing in front of the two means that there's an imaginary plus sign in front of the two. So I'm gonna shade that in. That leaves me with an answer that's going to be negative. Seven times two is 14. And don't forget this R behind it. Again, we have a negative times a positive, which I see here, I just did, use a negative answer. If you don't know what seven times eight is, again, you don't have to. Uh, multiplication is nothing more than circles and dots. Draw seven circles. Put eight lines or eight dots in each one. One, two, three, four. 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 And we're just going to count them. So this is eight lines. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, So, Seven circles times eight dots in each is 56. So seven times eight is negative 56. Oh, no, something. Oh, that is correct. So now we put a box around the two like terms. We see an R and an R. And we put a plus sign in between. Please don't multiply these. You're adding them. So when we're adding, <clears throat> the positive eight is how much you have. The negative 14 is how much you have to give. If I have $8 and I need to give you 14, do I have enough money to give you? The answer is no, I don't. So that means I'm gonna put a negative answer. And then subtract 14 minus eight. We get 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 6, 
And don't forget your letter R. Please don't put an R square because we're not multiplying, we're adding. So these three are your answers. 2R squared minus 6R minus 56. So I'm just going to write that here. 2R squared minus 6R minus 56. And that's it.